Good morning. Good morning. And a very warm welcome to each and every one of you. I especially want to extend a warm welcome to all those who might be home for Christmas already. And I know some of you are, and it's so good to have you all with us. And uh, we hope and pray that you'll have a wonderful time with family and friends. I want to especially welcome this morning our new choir. Give them a big hand. I just want to say at the very beginning a, a huge uh, thank you to uh, Lana, our Sunday School Superintendent, and all of our uh, Sunday School teachers and the children, and of course you, the parents and grandparents, who support them the way you do. Lana is doing a fantastic job as our new superintendent, and she tells me that all the teachers have been very supportive, very cooperative, and so far, it's been a wonderful year, and we pray it continues. So thank you to them, and I'm going to pass it over to the Sunday School.
Nicholas. Thank you. 
so blessed and privileged that we have parents who see fit to bring their children to church and have them use that talent in the house of the Lord. And so I want to say to all of you who just participated, you did a fantastic job. And even that little one who backed out, I see her on the ice at the stadium, and she sure can skate. We just got to get her a bit more braver here in the church. Right, John? That's great. Yes, indeed. Now then, I'm sure in this crowd, whether you're from 28, because we do have people from 28 this morning, you can't surprise me. Whether you're from 28 or Deep Bite or AD Town or wherever, there must be people here who have a birthday in December. I mean, some I know uh, think they're very unfortunate to be born on Christmas Day or like my daughter New Year's Day. If you have a birthday in December, please come forward. We want to have you light a candle. I know there are at least two or three people, mother and daughter. Oh, here's Melinda. Come on up.
Are you knocking over your camera and everything? In front of you, in your view, you should see a woman candle lighting listening to a copy of the Edmund Reef, and you might need to share this morning. And that's okay. So we thank Gordon and Janice. They're going to light the fourth candle, and you can follow along in your book. Please share.
Please stand for the call to worship at Sam in your bulletin. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. May all the earth be filled with his glory. Light has sprung up for the righteous. And joyful gladness for those who are true hearts. Glory to God in the highest. And peace to the Yeah. 
morning here in St. Mary's. Everyone is doing such a great job sharing the Christmas spirit, but something is just not right. Not right? What do you mean? We are in the midst of this wonderful Christmas celebration, but it seems like something is missing. I know what is missing. How can we have a Christmas celebration without a Christmas tree? We need a Christmas tree. That's it. You're absolutely right. But what kind of tree can we get that will be perfect for our church and its congregation? Maybe we should split up and try to find the perfect Christmas tree. Great idea, but how do we know it's a perfect tree? Maybe we can ask one of our Sunday school teachers to help judge. Mr. Chippet, would you like to help us decide on a perfect tree for our church? Sure, I will help. Okay, then it's settled. When you find a Christmas tree, bring it back for everyone to see. Let's go. Jesus was both a small tree 
that you leave it at home. Good work, everyone. This decision won't be an easy one.
precious children, the gift of their Sunday school teachers, and all who are a part of their lives, along with the gifts of food for the food bank for those that's fortunate than ourselves, and our monetary gifts. Gracious God, by the power of the Spirit who sanctified the mother of your Son, make holy all we offer you this day. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen.